Hi everybody, this is Kai at Follicles 360 Salon in Torrance, your trichologist, and today we're going to discuss seven reasons for hair loss. I think this topic is pretty interesting because we have more people experiencing hair loss and they can't figure out why. So let's start off with medications being one of the reasons why some people may experience hair loss. And the type of hair loss that uh, they experience is telogen effluvium, and that's excessive shedding. Um, more than normal, more than 100 strands a day. And the reasons why um, they may be experiencing this is some people may um, be taking some type of chemotherapy, um, yes, ladies, birth control can cause telogen effluvium, which will cause you to have some type of excessive shedding where the hair is miniaturizing. And you can only see this type of shedding under a microscope, which this is something that I do in the salon. Um, antidepressants can cause the same thing, thyroid medicine, cholesterol medicine, so those are some of the things that you should look out for if you're on any medications. If um, you're on some medications and I did not name it, it doesn't mean that it doesn't cause hair loss. It just means that um, it's not one of the ones high, high on the list. So you may want to reach out to me to get your own um, personal consultation to see if what you're taking could be causing hair loss, okay? Moving forward, hormones can cause um, hair loss as well, telogen effluvium, where um, hormones play a major role in our hair, our hair cycle, the way our hair grows. So when ladies are going through menopause, they may notice shedding. Their hair may be getting a little bit thinner. It's because it's shedding, telogen effluvium. Postpartum, and I've done a video on postpartum um, shedding. And then also when we have irregular cycles, that has to do with our hormones. So that can cause shedding also. So um, that's just a little tidbit on hormones. Hair styling, I've done a, a video on that, so you can refer back to that. That's considered traction alopecia, and that's just over manipulation of the hair with braiding and all those types of things. But you can refer back to my video on traction alopecia. Um, nutrition is a major part of it. So ladies, it can cause telogen effluvium as well uh, because our body needs a certain amount of protein and it needs vitamins and minerals. So when our body doesn't get that, it's... it's um, our follicle is a non-essential tissue that is the last to get the nutrients. So if we're not feeding our body, um, our, our hair is the last thing that's going to get the nutrients anyway. So if you're not feeding it and you're deficient in that area, you're really not going to be supplying your, your hair with what it needs to sustain. Things like um, dieting can cause it if it's an improper diet. Vegetarians may see it because they're not getting adequate protein. So we just want to be careful when we select our diets to make sure that we're getting the proper nourishment. Stress is another thing that can cause um, telogen effluvium and some, some types of alopecia. We always say, oh, I'm not stressing this or that. And whether it's chronic or acute, it can have... Um, it, 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 can, it can wreak havoc on our hair. And sometimes it takes about 4 to 16 weeks before we see the effect that the stress has on our hair. So if we're not currently going through something, we may not be thinking about what happened to us a few months back. But usually it's a delay of about 4 to 16 weeks before you'll start seeing the telogen effluvium, the excess shedding in your hair. Heredity. Um, Genetics plays a large role in, in our hair loss as well. Um, male pattern alopecia, female pattern hair loss, those things are genetic. So if your mother and father have lost hair, mm, it's an 80% chance that you may lose your hair as well because you have 20% of the people that both sides of their family have um, hair loss, but they don't. So it's not a guarantee that you will, but you have a very high chance that you will lose your hair. Um, it will start thinning in certain areas, whether it's around the hairline, whether it's in the crown. It just depends on um, the area, but you have a large chance of that happening to you as well. 
Um, and th there are treatments for that. So don't think that um, it's, it's just the loss. There are treatments for that. And you can, you can reach out to me if you want help with that as well. And then also we have health being number seven. Health causes um, telogenic fluvium or cicatricial alopecia, which leaves scarring. Um, this comes from like autoimmune deficiencies such as lupus. You have rheumatoid arthritis, um, anesthesia if we've undergone surgery. Um, there are digestive issues because if you're not digesting your food, and I don't mean acid reflux, I mean digesting where your food is breaking down and your body is absorbing all of the nutrients that it's supposed to absorb. If that's not being digested properly, then that can lead to um, health, you know, nutrition, nutritional deficiencies, which can lead to telogenic fluvium, cicatricial alopecia, and some other sorts of things. And that also has about a four to 16 week delay before we start seeing that. So that's just a little bit. Um, I tried to make it as short as I could with this video, but if you want more information on the seven reasons for hair loss, please reach out to me via phone at 310-324-3007 to set up a consultation. I will be more than happy to go over um, a consult in detail with you. Um, look at our website, www.follicles.com for more info on our menu of services. And I will reach back out to you to give you more tips soon. Thank you.